Hey guys, it's Fred and today we're going to be making chocolate mousse. So there are two layers of mousse in this. One is going to be a dark chocolate mousse and on top is going to be a white chocolate mousse. The white chocolate mousse is really sweet and tasty while the dark chocolate mousse gives it a little more of a bitter taste. And the combination of the both is just perfect. The mousse is super soft and delicious. Just three ingredients and we can make it. All you need is white chocolate, dark chocolate and whipping cream. So without any further ado, let's get on to making it. First here I've taken white chocolate. I'm going to shred it and measure out 100 grams. Then I've taken dark chocolate. I'm going to shred it again and measure out another 100 grams of this. So here I've taken one bowl, 100 grams of dark chocolate and another bowl, 100 grams of white chocolate. Now here I've heated around 100 milliliters of whipping cream. I'm going to pour that into the white chocolate. And again I've heated another 100 milliliters of whipping cream and I'm pouring that over the dark chocolate. Now let each of it sit for around 10 seconds and then start mixing it and bringing it to a ganache consistency. And here it is, it's smooth and nice. I'm going to set that aside for cooling. Next, the dark chocolate, mix it, bring it to a ganache consistency just like that. Again, set this aside also for cooling. Let that cool down and come to room temperature. Meanwhile, here I've taken a large bowl into which I'm going to pour in 300 milliliters of whipping cream. And we have to start beating this. Beat it to a soft pea consistency. You don't want a frosting consistency. Stiff peaks is not what we're looking for. All we're doing is bringing it to a soft pea consistency. Just like that. And now once you've gotten the soft pea consistency, we have to divide this into two parts. One is going to be for the white chocolate and the other is going to be for the dark chocolate. So for this recipe, totally we're using 500 milliliters of whipping cream, 100 for melting the dark chocolate, 100 for melting the white chocolate and then there's 300 milliliters for whipping. That is going to be divided into 150, 150 for each. Now that I've divided it, I'm going to set one portion aside and now start beating this again and while beating it, you have to add in the chocolate ganache we made earlier. So you have to divide the chocolate ganache into different parts and gradually add it in and beat it. I'm going to divide it into three parts, adding in the first part, beating it until incorporated and then adding the second part again, beating that and finally adding all of it. Beat that one last time and incorporate everything together. And here, the dark chocolate mousse batter is ready. I'm going to set that aside and get on to making the white chocolate mousse. So for the white chocolate mousse also, it's just the same thing. All you have to do is gradually pour in the chocolate ganache, little by little. I'm adding it in three parts and beat and incorporate it. Now in the end pouring all of that in, beat it one last time, incorporate it together and the white chocolate mousse batter is also ready. Now let's start setting that up. Here I've taken serving glasses, two of them are small and there is one huge one. I'm just using a piping bag to pipe it onto the bottom, like that. Just press it down as much as you can and pipe it in. Then on top putting the white chocolate mousse. Instead of piping it in, you can also just gently scoop it and level it on top like that. Now I had a little bit of extra batter so I'm just using a large bowl and just setting it on top of it too. A 
after you've put the batter into all of your bowls and glasses you have to keep this in the refrigerator for at least around 6 hours so that the mousse starts becoming really really thick and comes to the right mousse consistency and here after 6 hours of taking it out and just decorating it on top with some chocolate just shaving it on top and then the mousse is totally ready to be served it's a perfect soft and delicious mousse the dark chocolate will give it that really tasty but bitter taste on top is really sweet and delicious white chocolate so i hope everybody tries this out if you like this video please don't forget to like share and subscribe also ring that notification bell so that you get notifications every time i post a new video thanks for watching love cooking bye bye